the angels preparing to sound the trumpets. That is what Cotton Mather calls you, students for the ministry. The angels preparing to sound the trumpets. Take the name to yourselves and live up to it. Give your days and nights to living up to it. And then, perhaps, when you come to sound the trumpets, the note will be pure and clear and strong and perchance may pierce even to the grave and wake the dead. In 1929, a few men set out with a vision for equipping students to faithfully sound the trumpet. They built a curriculum that cherished the whole counsel of God for the whole of life. Instruction that took the best of their reformed heritage and applied it to the challenges of the day. So that the witness of Christ would indeed be pure, clear, and strong. That vision still lives at Westminster. In fact, it thrives. Our primary purpose is and has always been to develop Christ-centered, spirit-filled, mission-driven pastors and leaders. Today, we're honored to carry this vision forward to the next generation. How? By raising the bar in our pastoral theology department. Biblical counseling is no longer optional. It's a non-negotiable. This means tripling the number of pastoral counseling classes because we believe that future pastors should be able to connect the details of the Bible to the difficulties of life. We also believe seminary ought to be a nursery for missionaries, a place where a heart for the lost is activated and cultivated. So we've created two new additional courses in evangelism and missions. It's our conviction that good shepherding demands effective leadership, compassionate servants who know how to set direction and inspire others to follow as they build up the saints. This equals two new courses focused exclusively on the character, convictions, and competencies needed for leadership. On top of all this, we've doubled the amount of preaching in the curriculum, twice as many sermons, twice as much feedback, so students leave twice as equipped to preach Christ from both Old and New Testaments. Do these changes represent innovation? Yes. But more importantly, they represent an investment. An investment that strengthens our original purpose. That the students who go forth from Westminster Theological Seminary may know Christ as their own Savior and may proclaim to others the gospel of His love.